Hey, real quick before we start this video, gamers, I just want to say, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments about it. Yes, this is a recycled gameplay. I'm in a hotel right now. I tried recording on my laptop, uh, and the FPS was really choppy, and I just don't really have time to, like, figure out how to fix it for this video. So it'll be better for the next one. But for now, I hope you guys don't mind. Hey, enjoy the video. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Goblin, and today... We're coming in with a hoot and a holler. Now, before I dive into this video, there's a couple things I would like to mention. First and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the recent inconsistency on the uploads the past couple days. Uh, I actually took a road trip back up north to where I used to live before I moved out of my mom's house uh, just to see my old friends and also buy a new car. So I'm currently recording this in a hotel room and I'm with a bunch of equipment that I've never used. Like I've got a mix amp I've never used, a laptop I've never made a video on. Uh, so... It's kind of hard figuring out all this new equipment, and I quickly realized that live streaming off of one monitor is essentially impossible, right? So I'm working with it, but I appreciate your guys' patience, and once I get home in the next two to three days, expect normal content back on standard schedule, right? By daily uploads and daily live streams on Twitch and YouTube. I appreciate your guys' patience on that, and also I'd like to mention, if I fuck up at any point in the story, I've been hanging out with my friends all day because I'm back up north, therefore I'm a little drunk, so I apologize in advance, but... Without further ado, let's dive right into the topic. So, hey, drop a like if you enjoy, by the way. But either way, so this was a story that I tweeted about on Twitter a couple days ago, and I was never really thinking of making this a video. But once I tweeted, I got a bunch of replies from people who were like, dude, you should make this a video. And like, oh, I got to hear the, I got to hear the full story to this, right? So I figured I'd make this a video. And there's probably a few guys, a few of you guys who tuned into my live streams who might have heard this uh, told on a live stream before, but never on a video. I've not made a video about this. So let's dive right into it. So way back in high school, back in my junior year, my, my first semester junior year, I had a PlayStation, right? All fine and dandy. Every high school kid had a PlayStation, right? But my PlayStation that I had at the time, the disc tray stopped reading my discs, right? So I was all pissed. I was all fine and dandy. You know, I, I was a little upset, but I was okay because I still haven't been loud. And I told my mom about it, right? Like my, me and my mom were just conversating a little bit. And I tell her like, oh, yeah, you know, my PlayStation stopped working. I'm going to have to get a new one. And my mom, being the, the wonderful heaven sent woman she was, uh, she actually was kind enough to get me a new PlayStation like a week later, right? And it wasn't just any normal PlayStation. She got me the Black Ops 3 Special Edition PS4, which uh, for those guys who remember, it was super dope when it came out back then, and it's still a really cool PlayStation console now, right? Uh, it had like the BL3 branding on it. It was a super dope console, right? So I got this console. I'm playing it for a couple days. And the weekend rolls around. Now, once the weekend rolls around, all bets are off. For those of you guys who have been watching my videos for a while, you know, the weekends were when the biggest hoots and the biggest hollers happened, right? At least in the first semester of junior year, because I was still kind of contained to, like, mainly getting super lit on the weekends and only moderately lit on the weekdays, right? Uh, so, on the first day of the weekend, on this Friday evening, I'm trying to find some plans, and Cody hits me up. And me being a, an idiot junior in high school, I had no job, therefore no money. But I knew that I had to get stoned every single day, right? That was my only objective. So Cody hits me up and he's like, yo, dude, uh, what are you doing today? You should slide over, let's smoke. And I'm like, bet, dude, I'm totally down to smoke. Now at this point, I hadn't told him I had no money, had no loud or anything. I was going into this weekend, just balls to the wall. I got to make some money, right? So I go into this, right? I pull up on Cody's house and it's like, it's like three o'clock. I had just gotten out of school. Like he hit me on Snapchat while I was riding home from school, right? So I get home to my house, right? Pack up my PlayStation, not even intending to sell it. I only brought it over there to play PlayStation, right? Because Cody's garage, there was like three TVs in there and a monitor. No, it was two TVs and a monitor, right? There was a big TV that his older brother used. Uh, there was a smaller TV. And by the way, for those guys who don't know who Cody is, I feel like I can use his real name now because he's been in so many live streams, but Cody is Chris from my videos. So for those guys who might not have known that, hey, his real name is Cody. There you go, guys. But either way, so uh, I'm at Cody's house, right? I slide over with my PlayStation thinking, hey, I'm just going to hook it up to a monitor. We'll game and maybe he'll let me tap a blunt or something, you know? So I bust out my PlayStation when I get there and I'm hooking it up and Cody's older brother comes out into the garage. And he sees my PlayStation, and right off the bat, he's making comments on it. He's interested. He's like, dude, uh, that's a sick PS4. He's like, how much you want for it? And at first, I'm kind of joking around about it. And I'm, you know, he, I also think he's kind of joking around about it. But it got serious really quickly. Like, he got to the point where it went from like, oh, we're joking around, like, yeah, a million zips, to like, we're actually negotiating on this, right? 
So I'm sitting in this garage with the PlayStation that my mom just bought me. And his older brother offers me an ounce of like top shelf shit that he has in exchange for this PlayStation. And I'm sitting to myself and at first I'm like, nah, dude, no way. My mom would kill me. But then I think to myself, I'm like, wait, if I do this and then I go sell all the bud, I could buy another PlayStation back and get stoned for free, right? Like it might not be the BO3 one, but I could get a PlayStation back, right? So I'm thinking about it for a little bit. Think about his offer. We're, we're playing a little PS4 back and forth. And I say deal, but let me play one last game of COD on this shit. He's like, bet. I run my last game of COD. I leave it all plugged in because it's already at his house. He hands me the zip, right? I hand him the controller. We're all fine and dandy. Now, at this point, I, I think once he handed me the zip is when I really realized, like, oh, fuck, I'm committed to this now, right? Because now... If my mom got home and saw that the PlayStation was gone within four days, uh, my head would have been on a stake, right? Like, like I would have been skinned alive. It would have been horrible, right? So as soon as he gives me that zip in exchange for the PlayStation, I quickly realized, like, yo, I have five hours to sell this. And I know there's going to be a bunch, of, a bunch of comments in the comment section like, Goblin, man, man, I sell 20 zips an hour, man. Honestly, you an amateur, Goblin. Listen... In high school, I was always one of those kids who, like, I would only serve to get money to re-up and get high, right? Like, I was, ne I was, well, I was occasionally, but I wasn't, like, a, a consistent plug all the way through high school, right? Uh, like, second semester junior year, I kind of was, but for the most part, I, I wasn't really a consistent plug. I would kind of only hustle to get, like, some pocket money, like, some gas money, uh, and then get fucked up for free, right? So I have this zip in my hand, and I immediately hop on my Snapchat, and I start hitting up everybody, dude. I'm Snapchatting everybody, sending pictures, because Cody's brother wasn't capping. Like, this shit was amazing, bud, right? It wasn't, like, the craziest I've ever seen, but I remember it was some really gorgeous purple shit, right? Like, absolutely phenomenal. So I'm hitting up all the people on my Snapchat, sending pictures of this shit. And this was also at the point where back in high school, like, kids were just buying mid all day, and it was all they could get. So if you had weed like this and you advertise it to these high school kids, they'd blow their entire bag on it, dude. They spend everything on it because it's stuff that they're not used to seeing, right? So I'm sending out these Snapchats and immediately I'm getting all these friends, uh, all these all these homies, you know, both uh, people that I kick it with, you know, often and just random people that I sent Snapchats to hoping to get a serve hitting me back, right? And I'm hype as fuck, right? So I'm like, yo, Cody, hey, listen, man, I got to go. And at the time, I'm driving my mom's Honda CRV, right? This was like right when I started driving it, right? For most of the junior year, I was driving my mom's car because I didn't have a car for most of the junior year. But either way, I hop in my mom's CRV, leave Cody's house, dap him up, and I hit the road. And immediately, I'm just off bus and serves, right? Uh, what are we going to call her? Penelope, right? For those guys who have watched my videos from a while, or for a while, the girl who used to drive me home from the alternative school to and from that school every day. She even shopped, right? She, I don't know if you guys just heard my cat meow. She's kind of, she's kind of pissed, but she hates this hotel. Either way. So uh, she even shopped. She hits me up. She wanted a quarter. I'm like, bet, bro. That's a quarter of my shit gone. I'm marked up 20 bucks. Go serve it to her. Bet, dude. Quarter of my shit gone. Now I've only got three quarters left. Time to flip. So I'm hitting up all these people, getting all these replies, dude. I'm driving around town, dude. I'm serving grams. I'm serving fucking eighths, dude. I'm serving Jordans. Little, little two for 30 because I'm taxing, bro. It's no problem. And I'm riding around serving this shit. And I'm kind of panicking. Because at first, once I, like, when I first sent out the Snapchats, a bunch of people replied. Like, all the people who checked their notifications replied, like, immediately, who wanted it, right? And I got a good, like, four or five serves. What I quickly realized what was after that first four or five serves, I still had, like, 17 or 18 grams left. I had three hours left, and I was maybe fucked, right? So I started tweaking. And after I served uh, that little under a half ounce, right, I had gotten a good bit of money, right? Like, I had gotten almost 200 bucks together, right? So I'm like, yo, I could go get a used PS4, like a 500 gig for like maybe 250 from GameStop, probably less, right? Like 250-ish, right? So I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm like, yo, I might really have this. So I'm hitting up all these people and I'm posting these crazy deals. I was the most petty motherfucker ever this day, right? I hop on the story and I'm scrolling through all the plugs I got and I'm just undercutting all their prices, bro. Like kids are serving eights for 35. Mind you, this is back in high school as well. I feel like I'm going to get a bunch of comments from kids who are like, Goblin, man, you name me these prices, man. My plug from Cali, man. He mailed me this shit straight from Los Angeles for $5 a zip, man. You kind of tweaking, Goblin. Listen, back in high school... We all paid tax, whether you like to admit it or not. Why? Who just texted me? 
I'm busy, man. I don't want to talk to you. Sorry you guys heard that. But either way, like back in high school, we always paid those bullshit like homies older brother prices, right? So back then, like 35 and 8 was like not a bad price at all for like some mid. Like like that was a decent fucking mid price back in the day, right? So I'm out here serving serving eighths for 30. At this point, I'm so desperate. I did not care about the profit. I was scared of not having the PlayStation on time. So, like, uh, just under halfway through serving this, I switch around from, like, trying to make this profit to just, yo, this needs to go right now. I have three hours. So, I'm posting all this shit. And a bunch of people got mad at me because I posted my original prices, right? I sent it to the the people I thought would shop. They shopped with me. And then I, I sent out, like, I posted on, like, my story, new prices, right? And all of a sudden, once I post the new prices, all the people who shopped before were pissed as fuck. But then there's hella new people. So, I was like, well... The old people are pissed, but the new people don't care. Fuck them, dude. And there was one serve in particular that was fucked along this route, right? There was a girl uh, who we're going to call... Oh, man. I was about to let Ashley slip off, but I feel like there's... I, I've named so many Ashleys that if I name one more, you guys are going to have an aneurysm. Uh, so we're going to throw out like a like a, uh, a Stacy, right? There's one girl named Stacy who only wanted a Jordan, right? She only wanted two for the 30. I was taxing her, right? So I go pull up to her house. She's like, yeah, can you just drop it off in my mailbox? So she asked me to drop it off in her mailbox. I go to her mailbox and her garage is open and her parents are like sitting in the garage. And I roll down my window, right? I pull up to the mailbox and like roll down my window and I throw that shit in the mailbox, right? I just, I just pop open their mailbox and throw it in there. I didn't like, I did not have time to pull off to the side and say, Hey, your parents are out like, bro. Listen, all I know is this. I opened that mailbox and the money was in there. So I threw that fucking butt in there, right? It was only two grams. I figured like whatever. I throw it in there. But as I roll down my window and I'm throwing it in there, her parents are like talking to me. They're like, oh, hey, like, uh, what are you doing, right? Like not not in like a who the fuck are you way, but like they, they were friendly about it. But me, I didn't know what the fuck to do, like, right? Like what do I say to these people? Like, oh, yeah, you're a, your daughter's buying some kush, man. So I uh, figured I'd just leave it here, dude. Big ups your daughter for leaving the money in. Or like, like, what do I say to these people? So I just say, I'm like, oh, yeah, uh, Shelly, or what's the name again? Stacy. I was like, oh, yeah, Stacy left uh, somewhere homework in my car, <laughs> right? It's the only thing I could come up with. Not realizing that Stacy already went to the alternative school that I went to, right? The reason that that's so important is because that alternative school did not assign homework. No matter what the class was, it was school policy that they did not give homework. So that excuse didn't fly. So I pull off of this house, and by this point, I'd, I'd had like maybe 10 grams left to serve. So I'm, bus- I'm driving around busting these serves, and I finally get the mo- amount of money I need, right? It only took me like 30, 45 more minutes after this. I got really lucky, and a bunch of people hit me back. So I go serve all this shit, right? I've got my money together. I slide on GameStop, and as I pull up to GameStop, I get a text from Stacy, right? And she's like, yo, did my parents see you? And I, I, I'm like, well, yeah. Like, I mean, I thought, like, I figured you wouldn't tell me to the com if you didn't know they were in the fucking garage. So I'm like, yeah, dude. I, I said hello, dude. And she's like, what the fuck, dude? Why would you do that? And she, she continues to explain that her parents, after I pulled off, <laughs> went to the fucking mailbox and opened that shit to, like, bring the homework to her or whatever, quote-unquote homework, and saw the weed. So this chick's now freaking the fuck out on me but i'm standing in a GameStop. this chick is like spam texting me and all this shit and she's like you have to tell them, like you have to tell my parents it's for my brother and shit like you have to get me out of this right i'm standing in a game shop with my 250 in my wallet right so i listen listen you should have warned me your parents were out there i pulled up and did my job all right now i'm in GameStop. i need a playstation so i'm in, I'm in line you know i finally come up to the front I buy this PlayStation, right? Base model, 500 gig PlayStation, the cheapest one they had. And I get home with it. And I quickly realize, like, oh, shit. This looks absolutely fucking nothing like the PlayStation I just had. So the only solution I could come up with was to take all my PS4 games and, like, school textbooks and just put them on top. Because how the BO3 PlayStation, like, the Black Ops 3 Special Edition PlayStation looked was there was, like, all these, like, decal, like, the BO3 logo was on the top. So I was like, if I just cover the top, maybe she won't notice, right? So I cover up the top, and by the time I got home, literally maybe 30, 20 to 30 minutes before my mom got home, right? I cover up all the shit, and I sit down, and I get on the PlayStation, because I figured, like, yo, if my mom sees me playing it, she's not even going to bat an eye. 
I turn on my PlayStation. I'm playing it. My mom walks in. Uh, she asks how my day was. I say good. She goes right upstairs. I figure I got away with it, right? I'm like, oh, big bet, bro. Like, that's a hoot and a holler, bro. Count me the fuck in. I, I'm all fine and dandy, right? Got my PlayStation, got my weed. The next week, right? The following week, I, it was like like the middle of the week. I remember because my heart sank, dude. Like, I, phys- I can still physically feel this feeling. I'm sitting in class. And my mom texts me and she goes, what happened to your PlayStation? And I'm, I just sit there and my heart fucking freezes, dude. I'm like, yo, like, what do I tell her? Dude, like what? Like, like, I, I, I have no idea what to say to her. Right. Like not a clue. So I just say to her, oh, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? My mom never replied to me. And because my mom is like the very like passive aggressive kind of kind of punisher, she she literally never did anything. But I knew that she knew. And like years later, this was actually recently, uh, fairly recently, like I'd say like six or seven months ago, I actually talked to my mom about this, right? Like we had a little conversation about it. She was like, remember all the like PlayStations I used to get you when you were a kid and like the Xboxes? And I was like, oh, yeah, she brought this up herself and it confirmed that she knew and it tweaked the fuck out of me. But hey. At least I got away with it at the time. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, gamers.